All right, what's going on, my precious gems? Frosty here, and um, it's time for a little bit of an update video. Um, I know that it's been, what, since the beginning of the year, I believe, that we did a update video for the channel here, as well as Twitch. But um, I think, like I said, we're kind of overdue for one. I know that, you know, the past couple of days, I want to say probably the past 10 days or so, um, there's been, like, a really small amount of uploads, and... Um, this is this video is just kind of explain like why you know we haven't had that many uploads on the channel uh, along with you know what we're gonna basically do to fix that and a couple other things that are to come in the future and just basically like not just update y'all on the channel but kind of update y'all on myself as things go you know life happens and all that good stuff but um basically for the past within the past like week and a half two weeks um, my, my grandma's been in the, out of the hospital, and, um, it's been a really stressful situation, and, um, I don't want to go too much into detail with it, really, but, um, basically she's out of the, the hospital, you know, she's feeling well enough to, to be at home by herself again, which is awesome, um, and now we're, you know, just looking on how to, how to, how to treat her and how to make sure that she's, like, better, better, you know? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I've been dealing with that, and between that and, you know, the busy work week, um, it's, like, it's just been really stressful and really, like, just insane, basically, and I don't know, it, it's kind of made me, like, I've definitely had to, like, take a, a real-life step back from, from doing YouTube videos, but at the same time, like, it's kind of messed with my, my, like, drive or motivation, almost. To really get up and do any videos not to mention like I don't really have like a like a set quote-unquote series right now like yes there's the Pokemon Duel videos y'all should have seen that already today if you haven't already I definitely recommend you check it out some cool stuff going on there um, but other than you know Pokemon Duel content I feel like I feel weird without having any kind of a let's play uh, going on right now like I know there's the the Kingdom Hearts let's play but that's more of like an online stream it's basically like leftovers footage for you know if I didn't want or if I didn't have any content to upload that's what I would upload but I mean splitting all of those hours worth of gameplay up um, only for them to not really be watched on the YouTube side um, just kind of makes me not want to upload those either if that makes any sense but yeah I don't I mean I, I do want to keep uploading them whether or not you know they get a lot of attention um, just because you know eventually you know it might pick up you know uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 is out the Kingdom Hearts hype is definitely here and uh, I, I'm hoping to get a PS4 at some point um, hopefully with my tax return, which I will explain a little bit and further on into the video, but, um, yeah, basically, I just want to, as far as what to bring to the channel, I'm kind of stuck. The WSS, I believe we just finished the actual draft for, like, the main draft for the WSS Season 2, which is awesome, and all we have left is to do our free agents picks, which hopefully shouldn't take too long, and then we can start getting into those videos, but... I don't, I don't know, I'm kind of stuck. I know that um, I had tweeted out saying something about, you know, buying Tales of Zestiria, which is a game that's for sale on Steam right now, which is kind of why I was interested in getting it. But I think the sale ends at the end of the month, so I'm kind of <laughs> trying to decide within the next two days whether or not I want to buy that and then start LPing that or what. Um, also, like... I haven't thought, there's one cool uh, Nuzlocke series idea that I've been thinking of, and when I say series, I don't mean like just one LP and that's the series, I'm talking about multiple LPs throughout multiple Pokemon generations, that's what I'm really referring to, and I, I, I kind of have an idea of how I want to do it, but I just need to get the graphics for that taken care of, first of all, but yeah, I don't, I don't know, I'm just kind of stuck at a standstill as far as, you know, content, you know, having the motivation not only to just make these relatively easy, you know, mobile game videos or just bring some kind of random Let's Play or Nuzlocke to the channel, which I know would get me super hyped and probably get you guys hyped as well, but, um, I've also been thinking of 
you know, making some, uh, not making, but I guess doing more collabs with my friends and doing a lot more, um, you know, soul links, versus, uh, just regular Nuzlocke co-ops, you know, where we just go through the story, um, together without any kind of like special rules, you know, we're just doing separate Nuzlocke's and have that strictly on my channel, which I know sounds kind of weird that, you know, you should be alternating it between channels because you want to get your friend promoted as well or get your friend, uh, some attention as well. But, or traffic, there we go, get your friends some traffic. But at the same time, like, I, I want to have a series that's, like, strictly on my channel or a couple of series with my friends, you know, where we're just chilling out, playing a game together. And I don't really see a problem with that. Uh, you know, it's been done before with many other, uh, you know, PokeTubers, or you know, not just PokeTubers, but, you know, other gaming channels, you know. There might be some people that just want to do... Uh, uh, some kind of a playthrough with their friends strictly on their channel without, you know, giving out, or just not giving out, but having all of the episodes alternate between the two channels, if that makes sense. Um, which also kind of brings me to that point I was bringing up a little bit, uh, like a couple of minutes ago, about using my the money for my tax return. I think I'm going to, I'm pretty positive I'm going to be getting a new 3DS with uh, the, I guess, the Luma um, capture card, or not capture card, but capture software, custom firmware shit. Uh, that way I can actually bring some pretty high quality uh, Wi-Fi battle videos, Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle videos, Sun and Moon free-for-alls. And once free-for-alls hit the channel, I assure you guys, like, that is gonna be most of my content from, from then on. Um, if, if I'm able to just focus on doing free-for-alls and just have fun with my friends and upload those and then maybe have some other non-Pokemon content come to the channel, uh, that's kind of the goal. Um, that's why I'm thinking, you know, I want to get a PS4 so I can get 2.8 and then I can bring that content as well. Um, definitely know, let me know what you guys think in the comments about all of that. And, you know, that... that <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I can, you know, actually bring myself to multiple points that I'm having. Um, full exposure, I did try recording this yesterday, but it just, like, I could not get any of my thoughts across. Hopefully this video, I've been able to, to kind of get my point across without being too rambly. Whereas, like, this other video I did, it was just, like, it was garbage. Like, it would not have made sense, honestly. But, one thing I wanted to bring up, and I, I thought about this because, you know, I want to, you know, first off, thank you guys for um, the love that you showed to the channel. Either way, you know, whether it's um, getting like three views on a Kingdom Hearts video or it's like almost 20 views on these Pokemon Duel videos, y'all have been killing it with the support either way with leaving the thumbs up for the dude, hitting those comments. Uh, I've noticed that even in this time that I haven't really uploaded within like the week or so that I haven't uploaded, I, I, I almost want to say like, we've gotten like 10 subscribers 10 new subscribers and you know to those of y'all that have subscribed and then like haven't seen any content from me i'm really sorry hopefully you've been enjoying some of the other content that i've already brought to the channel um but i just think it's awesome that you know y'all kill it with the support and i say that <laughs> because it turns out that uh the the network that i was with scale lab ended up dropping not only my channel but other channels that they were linked with that had 500 or less, or no, less than 500. No, like 500 is their minimum requirement. So anything less than 500, they decided to unlink from, but still keep us as community members, quote unquote. So that way we can use their tools to help, you know, give our channels that extra boost, which is tight. But then they go on to say, you know, when you hit 500 subscribers, we will go ahead and send you an email uh, inviting you or asking you to link back up with us. And I think that's total bullshit. Like, why? Like, you want, you want these channels to grow, right? Which, no, you don't. You just want to make money, basically. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's a business opportunity or it's, like a, it's just a business move. I get it. But don't expect people to come back after you screwed them over and a little history on scale lab i actually was or at least my relationship with scale scale lab um 
I, when I had first, you know, started doing YouTube, the first thing I wanted to look into is how I can make money from doing this because I genuinely do want to make this some kind of a career um, or at least something that I can support myself off of because, you know, the thing, if, you know, you, if there's something you love doing and, you know, you're somewhat good at it or you're decent at it, then fucking go for it and try to make a living out of it. And I'm not trying to get fucking YouTube famous. I'm not trying to be the next PewDiePie or Shofu or Shady or Nappy or whatever. I'm just trying to be, you know, me. <laughs> I'm trying to be me and successful in my own way um, going through this whole YouTube shit. And I had looked and done a whole bunch of research on multi-channel networks and came across, you know, Zunix. Which was, which seemed from reviews and a lot of research, it seemed like they were the most reliable network for small channels. And I guess they were under the umbrella of Scale Lab and eventually had decided to part ways from Scale Lab and do their own kind of thing uh, without them. They had even said, you know, they, I mean, I remember getting the email, hey guys, we're splitting off from Scale Lab. Uh, if you want to join us, then definitely do so. Request a link with us, unlink with Scale Lab, or you can stay with them. It doesn't matter. And I thought, you know, Scale Lab seems pretty tight. You know, I, I checked out their dashboard and their tools seem a lot more friendly. You know, their website actually seems like it's together, whereas Zunix's website was kind of shitty and under some like redevelopment basically. But then come to find out a couple of months later, Scale Lab is going to end up screwing all of those smaller channels that did decide to stay with them like myself so here we are um you know it doesn't really matter whether or not i have a network to be partnered with entirely but i do like i did like the fact and i did appreciate the fact that you know any kind of revenue whether it was like 10 cents or whether it was a dollar or if it was three dollars or whatever like that shit was going straight to my paypal and then i could use that chump change to go towards graphics or just save that extra little bit of change on equipment for the channel and I I really did enjoy that and like that but uh, it just sucks that I, I don't have that right now um, I did apply to join full screen and hopefully I don't know if I really meet their requirements um, I'm sure like their their minimum is like have a thousand subs or something like that or have X amount of views per day or per month, and I, I'm pretty sure I don't meet that criteria. But that's where, you know, I just got onto this whole subject is that uh, that is impossible without you guys. And I know that, you know, right now we might not meet that, any of those requirements, and that's fine. But, you know, as long as you guys just keep doing what you're doing, you know, showing up to the videos, you know, watching it for, you know, however long, I know I have really lengthy videos, I'm actually trying to to shorten the, uh, the, the length of time that my videos are, um, kind of drastically, like the next couple of Pokemon Duel videos, I know today's was like 25 fucking minutes, but the next couple of videos are going to be below 15 minutes, and I promise you, they're still just as good. Um, some of these LPs that I've been thinking of, um, I want to pull that skillful tech that, that my boy Jegzy did with his Arcanine solo run and a couple other of his uh, Nuzlocks where he would just cut the episodes down to like 15 to 20 minute segments rather than, you know, pressing record for 30 minutes and then, you know, editing the layout and just uploading it like that. Um, I think that's what I want to start doing with some of my LPs and my, uh, my Nuzlocks more often and uh you i mean don't expect that with kingdom hearts just because it's such a long game to begin with like every second that's being live streamed on on twitch is going to be uploaded on youtube but other let's plays are going to be shorter um some of these videos are going to be shorter i was actually liking whenever it was around the time that pokemon generation you know we were doing those reaction videos here on this channel and they were like six seven, eight, nine minutes at the most, and those were nice. I kind of do enjoy making shorter videos. It's just like fitting quality content that will still retain a viewer <laughs> um, for that length of time is like what, like, what do I do for those nine minutes, you know, as 
uh, as opposed to, you know, 20 or 30 minutes. So, all in all, I'm rambling, I know it. Just keep doing what you guys are doing, you know. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe as usual if you guys are new and you're stumbling onto this channel through this video then, you know, welcome. I promise that we'll be getting our shit together with the content soon. Um, me and DHM have already started recording the, uh, like, a, a good handful of episodes for the Ruby and Sapphire verses that we're doing, and that is gonna be a lot of fun. You guys are gonna love that shit. But, um, yeah, I think, I think that wraps it up, and this is around the time that I wanted to cut off the video anyways. So, you know, just, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, you don't necessarily have to like this video. Um, if I remember, this video will not be monetized because, you know, they're update videos. I, I, I feel like update videos shouldn't really be monetized, but I always suck with just not monetizing certain videos. Like, I'll get it uploaded and I'm like, all right, tight, let's leave. So, if I remember, I'll make sure to not monetize this video. And um, I just hope that you guys like the Heroes of the Storm content that I have in the background. And um, yeah, check me out on my socials, check me out on Twitch. And with all that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here and bounce you guys. Y'all are some really precious fucking gems. That's all I gotta say. I love you guys. So with all that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here and bounce. So thank you guys for tuning into Channel 4 and watching this channel update. I'm your host, Frosty Cones, signing off. Peace, y'all.